Hey everyone, my name is Benjamin Seitz and I'm the head of revenue operations at Sweep. Sweep is a visual no code platform that allows you to manage GTM motions in Salesforce. And today I will show you how our platform can simplify how you build and maintain timestamping in Salesforce. Before building the flow for automation, I first created a group of fields for each stage. Here we're looking at stage one as an example. You can see I'm checking the first date time we entered the stage, the most recent date time we entered the stage, the owner when we entered the stage, the owner ID, role, and role ID. Lastly, we have the duration, which is a formula field. One drawback of using the a formula field for the duration is that it will not necessarily provide an accurate calculation in orgs where you can move backwards in stages or skip stages. Now let's take a look at the flow. Here you can see that when a record is created or its stage is changed, we'll see whether or not this is the first time we entered that specific stage. If it is, we'll populate the first date time for that stage. And then we'll go ahead and populate the rest of the fields for that stage. We'll take a look at what was the prior stage. If we skip stages or move backwards in stages, we'll adjust the fields that were passed over appropriately. Lastly, we'll finally update and save the record. Now let's see how we achieve the same thing in Sweep. Here I have a funnel with four stages, stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. I'm going to click the gear in the top left corner, select BI settings, and toggle on each of the settings. I'll choose deploy, choose my destination org, and click deploy. This process typically takes about 10 seconds, and what we're doing is we're creating all of the fields as well as the supporting automation to do the timestamping for this org. Now that the funnel has successfully been deployed, we can move along to our into Salesforce and we can test it out. I've already pre-populated an opportunity and you can see that the timestamping data is all blank. I click save. And I'll scroll down to the details and you can see all of the timestamping data for stage one has been filled in except for duration because we don't yet know how long we spent in stage one. But once I advance to stage two, you can see the timestamps for stage two have filled in as well as the amount of time down to the minute that we spent in stage one. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.